Today we're going to convert percents. We're going to convert percents to fractions and convert percents to decimals both. Okay, so let's look at the word percent. We can break up the word into the word per and cent. Get a little shortcut for you. Per tells us to divide. I'm telling you guys that all the time. Per means divide. And then cent, well, think of the word century or centipede or centimeter. The word cent means hundred. So the word percent means we're going to divide by 100. Okay, so let's take a percent and let's change it to a fraction. 82% means 82 per 100. So we can change that to a fraction. We know that numerator divided by denominator. That's what it means. Okay, and then step two, we just simplify. They're both even, so we can divide them both by two. So that would be 41 per 50. Uh, 41 is not prime. It looks like it. We could do 3 times 17, uh, but none of, neither of those are factors of 50. So there it is, simplified. All right, so let's practice this. 41% is 41 per 100. Like we just said with 41, you can't simplify that besides the factors of 3 and 17, so we keep that how it is. No, I'm sorry. It's not 3 and 17. 3 times 17 is 51. I apologize. 50%, 50 per 100, we can definitely simplify that. Well, we know they both end in zeros, so we can just easily change it to 5 out of 10. Divide them both by 10, and we know that's a half. 5%, 5 per 100, we can divide them both by 5. That gives us 1 over 20. 250%, 250 over 100. Ooh, this one's going to take a little more work. We can divide them both by 10. That gives us 25 over 10. I'm going to rewrite it down here. We can divide them both by 5. That gives us 5 over 2. And we can't leave it as an improper fraction. 2 goes into 5 2 times. With the remainder of 1, so my answer is 2 and a half. All right, so if it's more than 100%, we know it's going to be a number greater than 1. It's going to be a mixed number. All right, now let's turn percents to decimals. Two different ways to do this. Okay, we know that 82% means 82 per 100. We already said that. Okay, so we can say it. When we say it, that becomes 82 hundredths. And then we just have to write it. 82 hundredths is 0 0.82, because the 2 is in the hundredths place. All right? 41% 41 is 41 hundredths, 0 0.41. 50% is 50 hundredths, 0 0.50. We also could write 0 0.5, uh, since we have a trailing 0 not necessary. In science it is for precision, but for math um, either of those are acceptable. Unless it tells you to round to the nearest tenth, then you wouldn't be able to write it like that. 5% is 5 hundredths. Don't do this. That's not 5 hundredths. That's 5 tenths. Got to put the 5 in the hundredth spot. 250% is 250 hundredths. Now that's a little harder to do. You can't really do that. We could also say this is 2 and 50 hundredths. So 2.50 or 2.5. 2 and 5 tenths. Okay, now let's look at it a different way. Per hundred means you are dividing by 100. Okay, so when we divide by 100, we move the decimal left two places. Right. And you might have to annex some zeros. Okay, so 20%, right now the decimal is there. Since we're dividing by 100, divide by 10, divide by 100, decimal in 0.20 or 0.2. 100%, the decimal is there. We move it left two spots. 
1.00, or just 1. 2%, the decimal was there. Ah, we can't move it over two places. We have to annex some zeros. We can annex as many zeros as we want out front. Move it over two places, it gives us two onto this. 332%, move it over two, three, 32 onto this. All right. Anytime you finish, make sure your answer makes sense. We know this is going to be greater than one. It's going to be about three point something. All right, let's convert the following to a decimal and fraction. Show me. 82% means 82 hundredths is a fraction. We can divide by 2. gives us 41 fiftieths. That is simplifying. 82% to a decimal. We're dividing by a hundredth or 82 hundredths, 0 0.82. Okay, 25% is 25 per 100. We can divide both those by 25, and we're dividing into quarters, so it's one fourth. And as a decimal, 25 hundredths. 40% is 40 hundredths, or four tenths, which would give us 40 over 100 is the same as 4 tenths, because we're dividing by 10, and we can simplify that to 2 fifths. 4 per cent is 4 per 100. We could divide both of those by 4, which gives us 1 25th. Uh, 4 per cent is 4 hundredths, not this. That's 4 tenths. 4 hundredths. All right, here are some topics that you could look for in Alex work on Alex. We're looking for converting or starting with percents. You could try starting with decimals and doing the opposite, but mainly um, start with the percents.